Hello everyone. Good morning. If you are in the Philippines, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. If you are in some other parts of the world, I am Anne and Marie Wilson. I am live here from Maryland, USA. Kumusta? 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 Everyone. If you are coming in here, Don sharing from Alvin Nupal. Alvin is here. I don't know if we are live in Facebook. We're supposed to be live in Facebook and in YouTube. So whoever can check our pages, that would be great. If you can, please, please continue to share our live stream. I will be here for a couple of minutes today. I will be here when you... Kanta naman niyo, eh? Feel like being quiet. Concert it a tech concert. I am while waiting for our friends to come along. Please make sure that you are already plugged into our Facebook and YouTube pages. There you go. It looks like I, I am live. Waiting for our friends to come. Okay, so I am now gonna share to you guys before I will read all our so tonight, today's live this is not the weekend you might be wondering what is going on why is and why is um why are we live it's because i will be sharing to you guys the output of some of our filipino students all over the world specifically from the middle east from philippines and some of them from the united states so they were challenged they were challenged to put in and make an ebook after i had my lesson with them i um, gave them a snippet of the life of rizal when he was younger and then they were challenged so if they are to emulate jose rizal what would be um what would it be and what would they do so it looks like ria i can see you in facebook can you comment and make sure that i could see you make sure you are also comment please and share this because at the end if you stay at the end i'll be giving away prices at the end of our live stream i will be giving away prices please comment all right please comment as to where you will be or you are right now as well as tomorrow i am showing you saturday friday here in the in america we are gonna have our pledge the alumni of rizal youth leadership institute will have our pledge the personal rizal personal life education for growth and empowerment this is already our session five and we are gonna have our very special guest that will be talking about how to take care of ornamental plants now that would be um, Sir Junri Alayakyak. He is the founder of the Pots of Hope. He is from the Philippines. So this would be really great, you guys. You have to register, though. You have to register for you to be able to join. So you can watch us live. But if you register and watch us live you are going to get an international certificate and this is very important because if you are a student you can put this in your curriculum vitae you can put this in your um and if you have your certificates with you people would be like oh that's really cool so or the one who will interview you would see that this is international our signatories are from new york and from the other parts of international so the link is in there um i don't know if it's clickable it should be it should be clickable and go sign up over there again that would be on saturday that would be on saturday in the philippines 10 in the morning all right so if you are in the other parts of the world you can share this also you can watch it watch as as well 
Russia May, Halla Louis is watching. Hi, Loy, join me. I will put the StreamYard link into our group chat so you can join me. Whoever from the Rizal, um, alumni of Rizal, you can join me. All right. We are just going to read outputs of the students. Yes, yes, there you go. Very good. So those who are here, we can start off right now. If you are ready, or resume, I resume, resume, resume. There you go. We also have, since I'm already here, we also have the deadline for this is the end of April. So please take a look at our invitation for our Rizal Awards. So we have our Rizal Awards. And I want you to take a look at this one, guys. If you know anybody or any group that you think would be best for this, here is our, let me see. Here is our, um, this is our invitation for that. Here we go. The Jose Rizal International Zeal of Achievement and Leadership Award. The award is designed to recognize the different youth groups who tirelessly and selflessly serve and improve their communities. Those who take part in making the lives of the people better. Just like Jose Rizal, our national hero, who was exiled in Gaffet, a prisoner of the Spanish government, and yet he continues to serve the people of Zapitan as teacher, doctor, scientist, and more. So us, Jose Rizal, is the clear image of authentic service. In fact, in the word Sapo Awayalai by President Mr. Raymond Butcher, Rizal is a hero because he is a champion. So, if while watching this video you threw pop in your head, it's time to nominate them. We are choosing one awardee from festival teams and one awardee from around the world. Awarding ceremony will be on June 19th, 2021. All right. Again, thank you so much, everyone. Again, if you know anyone or a group that is really helping out our community right now, please send us their names or their group names so we can interview them and we can take a look into their works and recognize them. There you go. So for today, for tonight, I will be giving out from my own pocket of prices to those who are here. I'm going to give you prices when you take your time staying with me, you know, just chica with me. And then Miyumi is also here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you have forgotten, guys, check if you have already plugged into our YouTube pages and Facebook pages. So if you are ready, I am ready. What we are going to do right now is I will be reading some books that the students really made themselves. Sila mismo po ang gumawa nito, taking from the notes and from the notes that I have when I was teaching the life of Rizal, especially the younger life of Rizal from this book of Zaide. So, are we ready? Give me a thumbs up if you are ready. If you are sharing this, this would be great. If you are sharing this, this would be so, so great. Thank you, thank you, thank you for those who are here. And yeah, let me see. If I can take that out, we are ready. Alvin, please share our live stream. Alvin is always here. Thank you for your support. Miyumi is always here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. And if you can share our live stream, that would be great. So now I am about to share our screen again. This is the output of our students. Mm back when I was teaching the life of Jose Rizal at his younger age. So I am sharing that right now. No, I do not want my face to be.
not here. Yes, I am here. No audio. Let me see. I do not have any audio. Hello? Okay, I can hear it. How come? Not here. Yes, I am here. No audio. Let me see. I do not have any audio. Hello? Hmm. I do have an audio. Thank you for telling me, um, Sir Alwin. But let me see. Alumni of Rizal Youth Leadership Institute. Can Alwin. But let me see. Alumni of Rizal Youth Leadership Institute. Can Alwin. But let me see. Alumni of Rizal Youth Leadership Institute. Can you hear me now? Hello? Can you hear me now? Hello? Hello. Maybe when I share my screen, no, you would not be able to hear me. Hala, that was sayang. Anyways, let's do that again. Share screen, share audio. Hala, that was sayang. Anyways, let's do that again. Share screen, share audio. Okay. Um, please tell me if you can still hear me. Oh, wow. Okay. Can you hear me now? I think I know what's going on. I did not click share audio. All right. Again, thank you so much, Sir Al. Sir Alwin is here. Jung Jung is here. Um, oh, tell me, please, if you can hear me now. And I will share the whole entire screen with my audio now. I am about to do the second grade books. And if that one did not have an audio, oh, well, it looks like I'm just going to re-record it. <laughs> So here we go for my second grade books. Thank you so much to the first grade students. And now I am moving on to the Hello, mic test. I notice it if I'm sharing my screen, you could not hear the audio. Wow. All right, let me see if we can get out from there and you could hear me. I'm just still testing. Hello, mic test. I notice it if I'm sharing ah, my okay. screen, you could not hear the audio. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's weird. All right, let me see okay. if we can get out from there and you could hear me. I'm just still testing. Okay, all right. There's nothing you can do about it, but I'm just going to share the books. Share audio, please. Application window, StreamYard, Chrome tab. How about that? If I'm going to do it that way, can you hear me? My test, my test. All right, these are some good books that I see in here. I hope you can hear me when I... Uh huh. When I'm live, when I'm doing it over there, let me see. All right, these are some good books that I see in here. I hope you can hear me when I. Uh huh. When I'm live, when I'm doing it over there, let me see. Ah, I know what's going on. You know why? Because I remove myself. Ay, ay, ay. So it looks like I will just re be reading it over there. How about that? See? So it looks like I will just be reading it over there. How about that? See? 
Okay, now I did not remove myself, but can you still hear me? Mic test, mic test. Okay, now I did not remove myself, but can you still hear me? Mic test, mic test. Okay, now I did not remove myself, but can you still hear me? Mic test, mic test. Yes, I did heard you now okay all right oh well we i am just gonna re-record the first grades so this is actually my second grade uh outputs from the student so let me start reading it now and here we go the first book that we will be reading is my life as dr jose rizal p as doctor uh, sorry my life as dr jose p rizal by adriana nicole villarin Introduction. Dr. Jose Protasio Rizal was born in the town of Calamba, Laguna on 19th June, 1861. The second son and the seventh among the 11 children of Francisco Mercado and Teodora Alonso. Dr. Jose P. Rizal is our national hero because he fought for freedom in a silent but powerful way. A hero symbolizes goodness. Rizal gave us freedom by using goodness. He expressed his love for the Philippines through his novels, essays, and articles. He was a humble person who loved God, his country, and his family. He said, the youth is the hope of our future. He serves as an inspiration to everyone. And in this book, I would like to share my traits and values on how I can emulate our national hero, Dr. Jose P. Rizal. To love God with all my heart, soul, and mind. I love to pray to our God and we always go to church with my family. I love reading Bible stories too. Loving God means obeying Him, praising Him, doing good and loving others as well to my family family is a gift that lasts forever like dr Josepi rizal who loved his family i love my family too they are very important to me my parents teach me on how to be a good person and they always support my needs I love my younger brother, and we always take care of each other. To love others. Loving others mean doing good to them and caring for them. I love arts and I see and use my talent to show people that I care for them. When the COVID-19 pandemic started last year, I drew Get Well Soon cards and we sent it to COVID-19 patients who are being treated in the hospitals. I went to cheer them up, to smile, feel better, and be strong. Loving other me others means loving animals too. I am a dog lover and I love my dog Molly too so much. She is my best friend, just like our national hero. I want to be a doctor someday. I want to be a veter veterinarian when I grow up to treat animals when they are sick. You should love your neighbors as yourself. To love my country. Here are three things to show love for our country. To participate well during flag ceremony by singing our national anthem. To be a good citizen by showing respect to everyone and by following our country rules. To love, peace, and respect our national heroes. About the author, I'm Adriana Nicole Villarin. 
I'm eight years old. I love arts, dogs, and I love traveling. When I grow up, I want to be a veterinarian. All right, let me see. Good job, Adriana Nicole. Can I hear myself or no? All right, let me see. Good job, Adriana Nicole. Can you hear that? Or did you hear that? <laughs> did you hear that? That was really, really good. That was really, really good. Okay, I think that's working now. Mark Angelo Ribato Scanner Sol is watching. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Very good. Now we will be reading the next book. The next book that we will be reading is My Life as Jose Rizal. Oh, she already did this. She already submitted this, right? Let me see. Maybe it's just a draft. Okay, it's just a draft. So let me move on to the next one. That's a good picture as well. Uh, I think she has been. Ah, okay. There's another one. Jose Rizal, the nations, the nations, I do it again. Let's do it again because I am planning to just like re, do not record this again. Jose Rizal, the nation's hero, my hero. Jose Rizal is our national hero as he fought for the independence of our country against Spaniards through his writing and novels. He is a patriot who loved our country risking his life to achieve independence, an intelligent man who contributed so much to the country. Writing and not. not only he loves his country, but he is also a good son, brother, friend, and really loves his family. He also respects his elders and his countrymen. Jose Rizal is a role model to us Filipinos. And I would like to emulate his love for his family just like I do. Also, his intelligence. I would like to use my intelligence to spread awareness of the safety measures for COVID-19 and respect the community for the laws and rules they are implementing. Also, just like Jose Rizal, I would like to emulate his love for his family. There is no perfect family, but the important thing is the love for each other. There are no perfect family, but there are many perfect moments within the family that I can capture and cherish. About the author, I'm Isabella Sofia M. Alulud. I'm eight years of age. I love cats, food, and adventure. I like going to places close to nature. Be silly, be fun, be different. Yay! That was really, really good. Excellent work, Isabella. Very good. If your parents help you out with that, tell them thank you. It is really, really nice. Hearing it now. Oh, Sir Alwyn, I figured it out what happened. <laughs> okay, at least I finished all the first graders. I still have my second grader book and my third grader books. All right. Miss Olive is also watching. Thank you, Miss Olive. Now let's move on to another book. Let me see. This one is a photo book by Janine Jose Rizal, our national hero. A hero symbolizes goodness. Rizal gave us freedom by using goodness. I always tell my mom that I want to be a superhero when I grow up. And I remember my parents telling me and I... And my ate and my kuya to be always a good person to anyone. The Youth is the Hope of Our Future by Dr. Jose Rizal. Loving of God, loving people. As Dr. Jose Rizal, my family taught me how to become closer to God and be religious. I love reading books like Dr. Jose Rizal sharing my talents, and encouraging people, losing hope. Do, don't lose hope. 
about the author, Jane N. De La Cruz, Grade 2 Optimism. Hi, I'm Jane N. De La Cruz, 7 years old. I was born on July 22, 2013 at Sharjah United Arab Emirates. I am currently living at UAE. My dad is a pastor and my mom is a housewife and she takes care of us. I have one older sister and older brother and I am the youngest. I love dancing, singing, and painting. I love to read the Bible and share my friends about God. Excellent work. Very good, Jane. Jane, that was really, really good. An excellent showcase of result webinar outputs. Very good. Excellent, excellent, Jane. Very nice. This is another nice picture. This is really good. Mm, who has done this? No copyright intended, but this is really good. These are good pictures. Uh, no name for this, but this is. I will be brave, smart, and good person, just like Dr. Jose Rizal. First, I will be good to my parents. Second, I will study harder to learn a lot of things. Then, I will protect my little sister, just like Dr. Jose Rizal. I love my home country, the Philippines. Wow! Oh, this is from Jenea, Yvonne Jenea Rosales Mengua. That book was from Yvonne Janea Rosales Mengoa. Very good. I really like that. See? Short but sweet. You know exactly what you want to do. Shout out to Jerry Sanidad Felicitas, K-O-R Hawaii. Thank you so much, Sir Jerry, for dropping by. Thank you. Thank you. Again, I am just reading outputs of our students that were part of our USA, uh, Middle East, and Philippine consortium last oh, a couple of weeks ago. So these are their outputs. So the next book I will be reading is National Hero Dr. Jose Rizal, We Can Be Heroes, a book from Athena Chloe Kimpang Chan. National hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. We can be heroes. A hero is an ordinary individual who finds the strength to persevere and endure in spite of overwhelming obstacles, random acts of kindness. You do not need a cape to be a hero. You just need to dare to care. Volunteers do not necessarily have the time they have the heart. Be the change you wish to see the world. Wow. Reduce, recycle, reuse. Help the needy. Donate your old clothes to needy people. And that's it. Those are the things that Athena wants to do for him to emulate the national hero. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, shout out to Ria Fontanosa. If you stay towards the end, I will be giving, giving away prizes after we read the books of these students. James, I see this work, but it does not have a cover page. So let's see. All right. So maybe this is just a draft. Now let's move on to my life as Jose, my life as Dr. Jose Rizal by Luke Mateo La Rosa. My life as Dr. Jose Rizal by Luke Mateo La Rosa. Introduction. Being a hero is not that easy. Sacrificing their lives for the love of our country. Their courage, leadership, and wisdom leads the present times enjoy freedom and independence in our future generations have a life to full of comfortable. Like what our Philippine national hero, Dr. Oserizal, did to our country, as I learned about his life, I was encouraged to follow most of his characters as a hero in my own simple ways. In this book, I would like to share to you my life traits and values as I emulate our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. Love for country. 
I love my country by wearing Filipino clothes like Marong Tagalog and by waving our Philippine flag during the celebration of our Buwan ng Wika in school. Love for parents. I love my parents by helping them to do the household chores like sweeping the floor and preparing my own sandwich for my school snacks. Love for God. I love God by going to church with my family, praying and worshiping together. I participate in singing and dancing in the church. I also enjoy being with the kids in church doing Christian storybook coloring. Noble conduct. Do good always. In everything I do, I always see to it that I do it good, especially in doing good for my family, loved ones, friends, and in school. I want to be a good example to others by doing good things. Thank you. About the author, Luke Mateo La Rosa in Saudi Arabia, first born of OFW parent on April 18, 2013. A loving, caring, thoughtful, kind, funny, and God-fearing son who has a little sister to play and share with in singing, playing video games, and reading books, watching videos, and painting. That was really excellent, um, uh, Luke. Luke, very good. That was really, really, really good. Keep up the good work. So it looks like this one is a draft. Let me just open that one up to make sure that we do not miss any of these books. These books are excellent. If you are watching us in here, did you hear it? Nah, you can do it, girl. How I wish I would be as talented as they are. Salute to all of you. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much for that comment, Alvin Nopal. Thank you, Alvin. And please share our live stream. I think I already read this also. And that looks like it is a draft. This one, Darren Suhan Reyes. All right, let's read this. The Life of Dr. Jose Rizal by Darren's Johan E. Reyes. Chapter title, The Story, The Short Story About Dr. Jose Rizal. Calamba. Jose Protasio Rizal Mercado y Rialonda was a Filipino nationalist and polymath during the tail end of the Spanish colonial period of the Philippines. His educational attainment was Heidelberg University in 1887, Ateneo de Manila University, University of Santo Tomas. Caption, half-page image of footsteps. He is tagged as the national hero of the Filipino people. He was born on June 19, 1861 at Calamba, and he died on December 30, 1896 at Rizal Park, Manila. This is the reason why we celebrate December 30 as Rizal Day. His siblings are Pasiano Rizal, Saturnina, Hidalgo, Josefa Mercado, Solidad Mercado, and many more. Rizal Park. Okay, that looks like just a chapter of the story or the life of Dr. Jose Rizal. Lior de la Peña, I hope we can reach out to your son's school if that is possible. What is going on in there? Yes. So if you have comment, please make sure you are a uh, sharer. Wow, sir, says Diza Philip Atirena Pedria. Yes, please share it to those who think would be... Beneficial Mark Angelo Ribastos, thank you for staying. All right. I am just reading this, guys, so I can check the students who work. All righty. We are back. Okay. Jose Rizal by Prince Daniel. Jose Rizal, in full Jose Protasio Rizal Mercado y Alonso Rialonda, born June 19, 1861, Calamba, Philippines. Died December 30th, 1896, Manila. Patriot, physician, a man of letters who was an inspiration to the Philippine nationalist movement. 
Rizal's mom, Rizal's mother, Teodora Alonso, is imprisoned by Spanish officials on suspicion that she and her brother Alberto poisoned the latter's wife. Many people know the real, real, real reason is because Rizal's father, Francisco, talked back to Spanish lieutenant, but he never loses faith on his mother's strength and she in his. About Jose Rizal. Jose Rizal. After his parents' death, he moved to Colomba and became a tenant farmer of the Dominican-owned Hacienda. He was a hardy and independent man, a hard-working man of few words. He died in Manila on June 5, 1898, at the age of 80. Rizal called his father affectionately a model of father's Jose Rizal in full. Jose Protash Mercado Alonso in Yolanda. Um, born in June 19, 1861, Calamba, Philippines, died December 30, 1896, Manila. Patriot physician and a man of letters who was an inspiration to the Philippine nationalist movement. Born June 19, 1861, Calamba, Philippines, died December 30, 1896, at the age of 35. Jose Protasio Rizal Mercari Alonso Rilionda was a Filipino nationalist and polymath during the tail end of the Spanish colonial period of the Philippines. Rizal's father is Rizal's father is almost like a hero. Rizal's fa Jose Rizal's father. His father has a personality of a strong brave and has leadership attitude. From his father, he inherited traits of becoming a hero, like sense of dignity, self-respect, serious self-possession, and strong character. All right, thank you for telling us about that, Daniel. Prince Daniel Balbeha. All right, so again, our project and challenge is how do we emulate the life of Dr. Jose Rizal? Okay. Ah, Lior, Lior de la Pena's family is also at Dubai. I wonder which school her children go to. Yes, Lior de la Pena, I hope we can reach out to your son's uh, school if that is possible. All right. Now we will be reading the book of Zoe Michaela S. Makasakit. Here you go. Me as Little Dr. Jose Rizal by Zoe Melkaela S. Makasaki. Introduction. First, let's take a look at short reminisce of the life of Jose Rizal when he was young. At June 19, 1861, Jose Rizal was born in Calamba, Philippines. Jose Rizal also likes books because of his mom was a teacher. One night, Yodora was teaching Jose how to read Spanish, but he was not listening. Instead, he was staring at the candles. Her mom stopped and told him about the story of the moth. And then Jose's mom, Yodora, found out that Jose has an open mind. She decided to send him to private school. When he was studying in private school, he was studious, brave, and stands up for what he believes in. From then on, history begins. No one can really emulate Dr. Zeratel has done to our country, but being a child, we can encourage by his trait as a boy in his time. In my book, I am glad and blessed to share ways on how to emulate Dr. Jose Rizal as a child. And this is me as a little Dr. Jose Rizal of my generation. Me as a little Dr. Jose Rizal, being to be, to be studious, to be prayerful, to be obedient, to be brave. Me as little Dr. Jose Rizal. To be open-minded but smart, to be playful but responsible, to be courteous and respectful. About me, hi, I'm Zoe Michaela S. Makasakit. I was born in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, but a full-blood Filipino. I'm eight years old. These are what I like to do, to learn, to sing, to dance, and to worship God. I love my family. I love playing with my friends, my Legos, and lots of more. 
This is the simple meme. Excellent. Very good, Zoe. Zoe, that is really good. You took the, the route that it's hard to be a Dr. Jose Rizal, but you can do some things in your own little way. Very good. Very good, Zoe. All right. So I see another book here, but this does not look like a Rizal book. Yeah. Let me see. Yep. No, those are just a draft. One of the drafts. This one, this is a very touching photograph. This looks like the photograph or the picture of that moth. But let's see. My Life as Dr. Jose Rizal by Quintin Travis H. Mateo. Page one, artist. A painter creates works of art in variety of surfaces from traditional canvas, wood, and paper to sides of buildings. They typically use watercolor, acrylic, or oil paints to complete their work, and many combine different types of paint as well as other materials such as sand or grit for texture. Everyone can learn to master the techniques fundamental to good painting, and everyone has the ability to improve their creativity. Having bucketfuls of talents is no guarantee that you'll be a good artist, because it takes more than ability to be creative. Dreaming about painting generally means you are trying to cover something up. Have you made a mistake lately that you are hiding from someone at work, at home, or even yourself? Perhaps you think, by covering it up, you will forget about it all together. The sun will shine again. I don't paint dreams or nightmare. I paint my own reality. Sunrise. I dream my painting and then I paint my dream. Artist. Quintin Travis H. Mateo. I'm Quintin Travis H. Mateo. I'm eight years old and I'm grade two. I love things that are related in arts because art is my language. If I feel sad, I draw or paint things that related to what I feel. If I'm happy, I paint colorful paintings. Very good. Excellent, Quentin. So Quentin looks like an artist, just like Jose Rizal. Very good, Quentin. Very nice. Okay, now let's move on to this. All right, this is Urea Theme, Facts About Rizal. He's the Philippines national hero, and he likes books. Facts about the author, he is eight years old and is smart. How can I be Dr. Jose Rizal by Urea? My good traits. My good traits, loyal, good, kind, intelligent, enthusiastic, fun, tall, and leader. Why Jose Rizal was our national hero? Jose Rizal was a good man. He loved writing poems, reading books, even brave. He even sacrificed himself. He was not scared. That's why he is our national hero. He is kind, good, intelligent, fast, hardworking, and responsible. That's some traits I can tell you about Jose Rizal. He was a brave man. He helped people. He was a man who cares about his family and everybody. It may be hard to be like him or be a hero, but he was a brave, good, and hardworking man. He was really a hero. Give him some respect. He even fought with freedom. He loved his country and wanted to have peace. He used his writing to open the eyes of the Filipino. He respected his country and loved his country. He also loved God. Jose Rizal was a good man and deserves to be our national hero. I can be like Jose Rizal when I act like him, be inspired by him, and when I learn things about him. All right, great work, great work. You, oh, Vincent Infante Urea, very good. Now let me see the next book. Okay, that looks like a magazine. All right, next one. Blanca theme. Do we have? No, that does not look like a book that's supposed to get submitted. All right. You know, some of these are a draft and the students might not have taken it out. I've already seen the book of Adrian. Yeah, that's another one. A yearbook. Okay. 
All right. No, they might be trying in new books in here. So that's cool. That's okay. All right. The next book, my storybook by Castel Eru Arafol. My storybook by Castiel Eru Arafol. Like Rizal, I love sports activities as well. Like Rizal, I'm a loving brother as well. All right, simple but sweet. Very good, Castiel Iro. Very good. I wish you could have done more and put more pictures in there because that was really good. Okay, all right. So I think that's the end of our second grader's book. Let me just close that one out so you can see my face now. Very good. Thank you. Alvin is still here. We still have three viewers. If you stayed until the end, I will be giving away prizes to those who are really here and watching our live stream. Okay. Thank you for all that hearts. Good job, Matt. Wow. I can relate to Quintin. Very good. I dream my painting. I paint my dreams. Very nice coat. I wish he could learn Kadensky. Yes, we're going to put more videos here on our pages, you guys. Please continue to share our live stream and our page. Hello, Boknoi Gaming is here. Please share our live stream, Boknoi. And for my third group, I am now going to share to you the third grade, the third grade books. Okay, let me see how I look on my end. That's good. Very good. I think you can still hear me. I'm just checking this out because my first graders, I did not have any to share to you any voice. The third grade, the third grade books. Okay, let me see how I look on my end. That's good. Very good. I think you can still hear me. I'm just checking this out because my first graders okay yep it looks like it's working now let me go to the third graders we have 28 books in here and again these are the third graders guys so we might have more stories here and more writings here so thank you for being patient with me thank you thank you thank you we are already here for one hour but it's all good. What we do in here would inspire a lot of us. Again, these are students from Middle East, from the Philippines, as well as in the United States when we had our consortium a couple of weeks ago. This is just their challenge as to how they can emulate Jose Rizal even if they are still very young. Okay. If I do that, oh, that's better. Okay. Dr. Jose Rizal. Jose Protasha Rizal Mercado e Alonza Rialonda, born June 19, 1869, Philippine national hero. I always remember my dad telling me every time to study and be good in my class. He said that someday education will give you freedom, and through education, I will be able to enjoy my life and understand life to the fullest. So, as a student and as a young man, I have to believe that I can emulate Dr. Jose Rizal. I have to be brave and confident, persevering, selfless, love for country, compassionate, and determined person. Dr. Jose Rizal became hero for everyone, not just for his family, but for our country. And for that, I have to do my best while I am still young. I have to bring my best for others so they too can emulate and be as Dr. Jose Rizal. Dr. Jose Rizal is very intelligent, and as a young student, I can emulate it by being smart and wise. I have to study harder and focus so that I can be greater than what Dr. Jose Rizal has achieved. Dr. Jose Rizal aimed the freedom of each Filipinos from other countries, especially from Spain. By doing this, he gave up himself and killed by Spanish and Philippines received independence. So as a young man, I am still capable of duplicating what Dr. Jose Rizal did for our country. I have to strive to be a good student and be on top of our class to show that Filipinos are not just intelligent, but capable of being great and honored. I have to stand not just for freedom, 
but be but ah uh, but being proud as a filipino my education is the meaning of my future without my education i will not be able to see my future so as a young student i need to struggle in every inch to achieve my goal i have to honor my parents with their struggle in working hard just to pay my education I have to honor my teachers for their hard work in guiding us. Just like Dr. Jose Rizal, he struggles too. That is why he became our Philippine hero. Now, while I am still young, I have to start my goal in emulating Dr. Jose Rizal. And I believe that I can do it. I can be like Dr. Jose Rizal. You've reached the end of this book. Great job. Very good. Very good. You won Miguel Molina. Very good. You won Miguel Molina. Excellent. All right. Can you still hear me? Iams is here. Shout out to Iams. Alvin Nopal is still watching. Please share our live stream. Wow. I can relate to that. Okay. Jao Karandang is also watching. Bob Charles Robert De Gothong just shared how we reach out to the youth. Okay, excellent. Very nice. All right, the next story that we will be reading is a K. All right. I think it's smaller if I do it this way. Would it be smaller if I do it this way? No, it's better. Okay. All right. Okay, what's the title of this book? No title, it's just a picture book. All right, very good. By Denver, Matthew V. Torres. Jose Protasio Ricard Rizal Mercado y Alonso Rialondo, born June 19, 1861, Calambala, Laguna. I want to become Jose Rizal because of so many reasons. One, he loves the Philippines and I also love my country. Two, he is a doctor and... He I also want to become a doctor. Three, he is brave and he has dignity, so I want to emulate. About the author, my, my name is Denver Matthew V. Torres. I want to become a doctor to save lives and help people. The end. Very good. That's a good representation, Denver. Excellent. Again, these are the third grade works of... Yes, third grade works of our students in Middle East, Philippines, as well as United States. The next book I'll be reading is a storybook or a book by Gabriel Alexander Amadora. Dr. Jose Rizal. This notebook belongs to Gabriel Alexander M. Amadora 3B. Dr. Jose Rizal. I want to follow Dr. Jose Rizal by following respecting and honored and he is very brave smart intelligent and i will study hard and be just like dr jose Riza. wow that's it simple and sweet good job gabriel all right next one by jana y maghirang being a an honest, polite, and loyal person. When I felt being honest, polite, loyal, it means to me that it felt when people are poor and has no home, food, and can't even study because they have no money to pay for a school. Polite means helping poor people, not only poor people. Honest is the same as polite, helping people. My traits, my name is Jonna, and my traits are polite, honest, and Loyal. All right. Very good, Jana. The next book we will be reading is How I Can Emulate Dr. Jose Rizal by Elise K. Holly P.C. Lorenzo. Becoming Dr. Jose Rizal in the Modern World by Elise K. Holly P.C. Lorenzo. When Rizal was a young kid, he was taught by his own mother. 
Chapter 1, The Childhood of Osirisop. At the age of three, he can summarize the alphabet. And at the age of five, he knew how to write and read. He also can draw a bird and running horse without lifting his pencil. Dr. Jose Rizal was one of the greatest heroes in the Philippine history. He lived in Rizal Shrine, Calamba, Laguna. In his childhood, Rizal already knew how to respect others rather than being terrible and mean. Even his sisters are doing the same. He has nine sisters and only one brother. Well, one of his sisters died at the age of three while Rizal was four. It was sad because he already knew what happened. There was also a time when his mother taught him how to speak and, and write Spanish, but Rizal wasn't paying attention. So what the mother did is she stopped and told a story about the moth so that Rizal can know the moral lesson. After telling a story, Rizal learned to behave and pay attention to his mother's class. Growing up, Rizal's first studied under Justiano Aquino Cruz in Binyan Laguna before he was sent to Manila. As to this, his father's request, he took the entrance examination in Colegio de San Juan de Letran, but he then enrolled at Ateneo Municipal de Manila and graduated as one of the nine students in his class declared sobre saliente or outstanding. He wrote his book about him and his fa and his life. The most famous one is Noli Metangere. He can speak different languages such as Spanish, French, Latin, Greek, German, Portuguese, Italian, English, Dutch, and Japanese. Rizal also made translations from Arabic, Swedish, Russian, Chinese, Greek, Hebrew, Sanskrit, and of course Tagalog. He is amazing. Chapter 2. How I Can Emulate Dr. Jose Rizal Chapter 2. To be a modern Dr. Jose Rizal, I have to be intelligent, smart, kind, and hardworking. How to do that? I have to read books, study hard, and always have a good behavior. I even need to be creative and imaginative. I should also be brave, not scared. I should also love my parents no matter what. That's what I need to do. About the author, Eliska Holly P.C. Lorenzo is a grade 3A student in Victoria Heights School, Manila. He, she is always a gold awardee and a champion in singing. She was born in October 16, 2010 in UAE. She is 10 years old. And her hobbies are drawing, singing, dancing, and playing the piano. Her parents and friends call her Ellie for short. That's it. That was really good. Thank you for the summary of the life of Aserisal when he was young. And then putting in your in input. Shout out to Jao Karandang. Thank you for reading the stories about Rizal. Loving our country. I was just thinking, what would Aserisal say to our country today? Duh, thinking out loud yes thank you for sharing that all right next up we have okay this is a good book <laughs> dr jose Rizal's martyrdom lets us especially the youth resolve to emulate our national heroes let me go back and see who okay let me read this again a new book by aaron james soriano Dr. Jose Rizal's martyrdom today, let us, especially the youth, resolve to emulate our national hero's patriotism and as the faith and future of our beloved Philippines rest upon it. The progress and freedom that he fought for are still very same challenges we face as we continue to strive for a strong, independent nation. Instilling love for our country, crucially at an early age, will inculcate the values of discipline and organization and will import common sense to the younger generation of Filipinos. Rizal's enthusiasm to learn and educate himself with skills and expertise not only benefited his growth as an individual, but most importantly also contributed to the betterment of nation and his fellow Filipinos. 
He never stopped learning because he believed that for a country to be socially and economically progressive, its people must not remain ignorant but empowered through quality education. That's it. It's like an essay. Thank you for that, Aaron James Soriano. Very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. This one looks like a draft. Is that it? Let me see. Is there more books coming up? Again, thank you to those who are watching in our Facebook pages and in YouTube pages. And if you are staying, the um, the prices will be towards the end of this live stream. Very good. Thank you. There you go. Next one. All right. A new book by Maha Maria C. Neri. Maha Neri. Hope love okay that was a good book let's see maybe you have more books over here who am i author cassandra jane autentico elizar grade 3b loyal hi everyone my name is cassandra jane and i today i'll share my draw my life with you. So let's begin. My story begins in Bohol, Talibon, Philippines. I was a cute little boy. I was born on May 22, 2012. I was also born with my grandparents. We live in a small house and we were very poor, but we had food, clothes, and huge family. Soon, I left Philippines and went to Dubai, UAE. I grew up there and we live in a family apartment. It was nice and a bit small, but I'm okay with that. When I went to school, I met a friend named Zara, but I always call her Sarah. We liked each other, and we were best friends forever. Soon, I left the school and came to the new school. I was shy at first, and a few days later, I found some girls and asked them to be my friends, and we became friends. Soon, I left because it would move to Sharjah, so I went to a different school again, and when I came in, I got a bit shy. After a few days, I met some friends. Very, very soon, I changed and stayed in that school. It was a Tagalog school. I learned a lot of my teachers were kind and a bit funny. I had fun at school. A few days later, I met some friends. On May 22, it was my birthday. I became eight years old. And before, I went and celebrated my birthday. The end. Oh, thank you for sharing your story, Cassandra. And I hope you can tell us the story about how you emulate Dr. Jose Rizal. So it looks like that's deleted. I am not even going to touch that. All right. The next story or the book is... By Althea Suzanne Zabala. Emulate Dr. Jose Rizal. Emulate Jose Rizal. Rizal is the national hero of the Philippines. He is the one who led the Filipinos to start a revolution against the Spanish government to attain the freedom and gain the control of the control of the country. Through that, other Filipinos were motivated to get that freedom. They started many revolts against the Spanish government. Jose Rizal traveled the world without forgetting the Philippines. He expanded his knowledge and skill on writing and medicine, never forgetting the Philippines. By Althea Suzanne Sabala, I hope you enjoy reading. The end. All right, thank you for that summary, uh, Althea. But we need you to make sure that you put in your input also in there and how you could emulate those areas out. All right, the next book is from Tristan Hernandez. My Life as Jose Rizal, My Dream by Tristan Hernandez. My Life as Jose Rizal, My Dream. My dream, fireman, my dream. I am proud to be a firefighter soon. I revere that long line of expert firefighting fighters who by their devotion to duty and sacrifice of self have made it possible for me to be a member of the service honored and respected in good times and bad throughout the world. Are you a firefighter or are you one of those who love firefighters? There you go. Fortune is within brave. Okay. 
firefighter slogans. Tristan Hernandez. I'm Tristan Hernandez. I'm nine years old. I love to read books about firefighter. It makes me brave when I read about them. I love to run, punch, to kick, to smash things, and especially to love to pray because that's my power. Soon I will become one of them. Fireman Ultimate Tristan. Wow, that's a good dream, Tristan. But I just wish you put in some more input about how to emulate Dr. Jose Rizal. Oh, this is for me? How to Emulate Dr. Jose Rizal by Nathaniel Raj Mendoza. Emulating Dr. Jose Rizal when he was young by Nathaniel Raj M. Vingua, grade 3B, loyal to Miss Anne Marie. The traits of Dr. Jose Rizal, he was brave, respectful, smart, intelligent, honest, educated, self-disciplined, love for country, nice, courteous, and more of Dr. Jose Rizal's traits. Dr. Jose Rizal's childhood, one day at eight years old, he sent to a private school, and there was no one there. Jose was lonely. Someone named Pedro Bulli Jose, he said things like, I'll catch you, but guess what? Jose won. Jose's first sorrow was when his playmate Concha died at three and Jose was only four. He wrote comedy books and poems. At 4 a.m., he wakes up to go to church. Even the vice president said Jose is a hero because he is authentic. The Rizal family contained 11 children and Jose was the seventh among the 11th children. How can I emulate Dr. Jose Rizal? As a student, I will dedicate myself to my studies, as Rizal did, because the youth is the hope of our country. I'll try to become a good leader and citizen of our country. I will be kind, brave, smart, and intelligent. Thank you. There you go. Thank you so much for that, Nathaniel. Oh, more books, more books. Let me see how many more books. Oh, my goodness. We're almost done. We're almost done. But let's go back to that. And that I know is coming from here. All right. Who is Dr. Jose Rizal? Who is Dr. Jose Rizal by Gabriel Joseph? And lastly, what are the works of Jose Rizal? Rizal was a polymath, skilled in both science and arts. He painted, sketched, and made sculptures. And cre did I did I skip anything? Oh yes, I did. Sorry about that. Let's move on. Who is Doctor Jose Rizal by Gabriel Joseph? We have our first question. Who is Doctor Jose Rizal? He is a Philippine national hero. But why? Dr. Jose Rizal became the Philippine national hero because he fought for freedom in silent but powerful way. He expressed his love for the Philippines through his novels, essays, and articles rather than through the use of force or aggression. Instead, he used his writings to open the eyes of the Filipinos. Let's learn more things about Dr. Jose Rizal. Let's, let me tell you some facts. Jose Rizal was a naughty boy in famous math and lamp story, moth and lamp story. The young Jose Rizal experimented with, with drugs? There are three animals named after Rizal. The Rizal, number four, the Rizal Monument in Luneta was not made by Filipino artists. And number five, Rizal cured himself of tuberculosis and was later recognized as tuberculosis expert. I hope you learn more about the facts I gave you. All right. And lastly, what are the works of Dr. Jose Rizal? Rizal was a polymath, skilled in both science and arts. He painted, sketched, and made sculptures and wood cray carving. He was a prolific poet, essayist, and novelist who most famous works were his two novels, Nolimitang Hire and its sequel, El Filibosterismo. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Oh, no, I think I missed it. What happened? Okay, next one. A new book by Drake Ivan L. Kabilis. Okay. Dr. Jose Protasha Rizal by Drake Ivan L. Kabilis, grade 3B.
All righty. Thank you for telling us facts about it. I'm actually looking for books that says how you can emulate Dr. Jose Rizal. So I am just going to look through this. A new book from Sofia C. Melendez. This notebook belongs to Sophia C. Emulating as a result traits, be kind, be brave, be smart, be intelligent, be honest, and love my family. Love my family. Obey my parents. Be brave. Conquer my fears. Be smart. Be honest. Honesty is the best policy. And show kindness at all times. That's good. That's really good, Sophia. So it's short, but we know what you want to do and what are the traits you want to emulate with Dr. Jose Rizal. The next book is Emulating Jose Rizal as a Young Student by Emira Avrel Kundue. What is emulate? Emulate is like to try to equal or to excel. Imitate with effort to equal or surpass. How can we emulate or follow Jose Rizal as a young student? If we emulate him, we should all have responsibility to be self-disciplined and honorable. That's by Emera Avrel Kondoy. Wow, short and sweet. Very good, Emira. Next one. All right. Francine Mary de Matatak. I can do the traits of Dr. Jose Rizal by Francine de Matatak, grade 3A. Chapter 1. Traits. I can be polite. I can say polite words. In my kindness and generosity, I can say that giving is more be is better than receiving. It's just not kindness. It is generosity. Jose Rizal is helpful and generous to his countrymen. As a child, I can be like him, being kind and caring to other people. I like that. You just pick the best quality and traits of Dr. Jose Rizal and you want to stick with it. I like that. Very good. All right, Emira Avrel Kundoy, didn't we already read your book? Let's read this again. Okay. All right, that was just a draft. Now let's see. The next book, My Lifestyle by Paul Barrios. Let's see. Oh, this is also a book that's a draft. Yearbook. Let me see if this is also a draft. That's also a draft. And let me see if there's more that we can read. But it looks like that is it. Or maybe my book. What happened here? All right. All right. Okay. It looks like that is it. And this one right here, I see 122 books though. Let me see if this is... I'm going to read through that again. Okay, there are more here. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, I'm going to go back to that, but I'm going to have to stop sharing. All right, you guys. I, there is still one more spot that we need to read, but it looks like it's all, I'm already been, I have been here for one hour and 33 minutes. So... Type in your name right now so I can write down the names of our winners. So when I have one minute, I'm going to say start. And to those who are here, I know there's all only five of us. If you write your name, start for giveaways. Each of you will earn five, will earn the whoever is going to be here for for a span of one minute, all of you that are here will have 100 pesos. 100 pesos. Start right now. Type your name. Type your name. Alvin, 100 pesos. Write down your phone number. Send it to Miss Olive. Miss
Miss Olive, you know, right to Jukaji is not here. She needs to type her name. I am. I am can also get 100 pesos. Uh, make sure you send your name to me and I will send you the 100 pesos each. Okay, you have 28 more seconds. It looks like we only have two winners, Alvin and Iams. Let me see. Thank you. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, what happened? Oh, it reset. Oh, Lord. Oh, it reset back to one minute. It did not even pause. Oh, I should not be touching it again. I am says here. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And again, I'm inviting you to join us again on Saturday in the Philippines, 10 o'clock in the morning. If you're here in the U.S., 10 p.m., 10 o'clock in the morning, Philippine time, Saturday, we have a very interesting pledge. You have to sign in to register to make sure you will be given an international certificate for that. So it looks like we only have Alvin. PM lang nako number, Mami Ann. Yes, I am is already um, a winner for a lot of time, so no problem, as well as uh, as well as Alvin. I just want to make sure that we are supporting those who are always here. Nag-PM na lang din po ako, Mami Ann. Thank you. All right. So our winners are Alvin Nopal. All right. And I am. So I'm going to take a picture as evidence. So you have, each of you will have 100 pesos. Before I end this, I'm just again going to invite everyone to please join us tomorrow uh ano na ngayon thursday pa dito sa amin so on saturday philippine time our pledge is how to take care of the ornaments or ornamental plants by june re let me just take that out by june re alayakyak and he is the founder of pots of hope I need you to register, please. You need to register so you are going to get an international certificate. So I am going to put that in the link below, in the link and in the description. So you can see and you can... Okay, why is the timer doing that? All right, let me click that. It's not clicking. Thank you, thank you, Alvin. Thank you so much. So that is our banner. That is our brand. We're going to take that out so everybody can see that it is on our chat box, guys. Thank you. Yes, please. It, if it's clickable, click on that one so you can register for Saturday's pledge. Also, planting seeds of hope. It's also planting seeds of hope. Yes, Miss Olive. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with me. I will be releasing. I think I still have more books to read, but we are already here for one hour and a half already. I will have a part two of the reading of the books. I so am inspired with most of the books that our students did again remember their first second and third graders and if they've did that themselves it's great if their parents help them out amazing all righty guys thank you again everyone for watching and i hope to see you soon i hope to see you on saturday stay safe and have a good one bye